Hello everybody, it's Milby here, and this is Shadow Crypt, and I'm here to tell you what it's all about. So, this game came back out in the 7th of July uh, this year, and um, it's a combat platformer inspired by the likes of Zelda 2, The Adventure Link, and some of the Castlevania series, as said by the creator. So we can take a look at the menu here. We've only got um, a little bit here. We've got um, configuring controls for the gamepad. And um, configuring controls for the keyboard. I'm playing this with a gamepad because if I have the chance to, I usually do. And this is one of those games that I think would uh, definitely um, benefit from a gamepad, especially since it's, just, it's inspired by console uh, retro gaming. So, this is a challenging game, to say the least. Uh, basically, you have this little guy here. You have attack, you have jump. You have the shoulder buttons to switch out your shield and spear. You have your shield bash, and you have uh, the other button, a B, on the on the key on the controller to pick up items. And basically, you're making your way through. Apparently, there's about seventy plus rooms in the game. Uh, it's not randomly generated, but it is um, permadeath. So when you die, you uh, when you die, you have uh, four lives if you include the zero. Uh, when you die, then you lose uh, all your progress and have to start again. Ooh, so we got a new blade there that they just dropped. We're going to pick that up. And that gives us better damage, which is sweet. So this game is currently available on um, the Humble Store and Itchy.io. Um, it's, it's been greenlit for Steam, but it's not out yet. And uh, it's coming out soon, though. But you can buy it, you can buy the game all of from the, all the different places on ShadowCrypt.net. The link will be in the description. This is uh, the first game made by the guy who made this. I'm pretty sure it's a one-man development team by the, a guy who goes by at uh, One Bit Punch on Twitter. So he's One Bit Punch. Uh, apparently, it took him about a year to make this game. And. Uh, it's it's a very simple game, but it's a really fun game. What's well, a health up? So uh, sometimes you find chests that contain uh, swords, shields, health, and the basics of the game are that you're trying to make your way for this crypt to defeat. I think it's uh, the necromancer or the lich at the at the end. I don't know. I haven't actually made it to the end of this game yet because I find it very difficult. Uh, so the basics are you wanna you're trying to take out the guy's minions. Um. But so far, I haven't had any tough enemies, but they do get tougher. This game kind of reminds me of a um, of a 2D Dark Souls in that the combat in it you can't just mash because if you do, that was worse than our sword. We're not gonna take that. Then you're gonna get hit. Right? These guys this is where the there. So you have what you have here is you have. Oh, God damn! It. Whoa! 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 You have, uh, you have two main combat buttons, and that is the shield bash and your and your stab. You auto block um, as long as you're not attacking. You will auto block. Oh, nice, that's better. You auto block most attacks. Ooh, I'll take that. Uh, so it's, it's depending on if you're standing up or ducking. So as long as you're not attacking, you'll block. Um, it's, it's all about timing um, your attack with their attack and making sure you're like up or down. Um, what I just got then was a shield, and um, oh, so I think that was the, the Avenger shield, or the, this is the Avenger shield, which has a chance to damage enemies when you uh, hit them with your shield. And there's different kinds of shields in this. There's the Buckler, Defender, and Hammer. The buckler's what you start with. The defender has a chance to stun enemies, and the Hammer has a chance to knock them further back. So here's an arrow, guys. What we want to do here is we want to time our jump perfectly. Because uh, spikes in this are a inst instant death kind of uh, kind of issue. Oh, here we go again. Oh, oh god. So yeah, you only have like six hits. You can get health life back, but really, you don't want to get hit because you don't want to. If I get hit, I lose my sword and shield. If I, if I get hit, if I die, um, shit. The one problem I have with playing this on the controller is I'm having to use an Xbox controller, which suffers, of course, from having the worst D-pad ever in the history of gaming. 
um, the, the potato D-pad. So I have issues sometimes where I turn around, which is annoying. But that's not the game, that's just... It doesn't use a... you can't use a control stick, you have to use the D-pad with, with the controller. Oof, so here we go, let's try and get in a bit more. Personally, I actually um, really enjoy this game. I hadn't heard about it until um, a friend of mine, Pyro Puncher, uh, showed it to me on Skype. And uh, I streamed it for an episode, thinking it would be a quick and easy game. Right, so that's a defender shield, so that's a chance to stun enemies, that's pretty good. And uh, it turns out it's not, it's an incredibly bloody difficult game. Oh, I'll take that. So, oh no, 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 oh gosh, gonna get there. Hmm. So as you see, we also have uh, spears. They uh, you can only carry nine at once, but they're pretty useful for some things. Ah, god, I'm gonna die. Oof. All right, we managed to make it past that. Jeez, I need some help now. Oh boy. There you go, there's the key. So this is why I went this direction, because uh, I need a key to go further into the castle. So, pick up that key, and now we have to head back again. Oh boy. Now, the, de uh, the design and the, the combat itself is actually pretty simple. It's only really auto block, attack, shield bash, and maybe, you know, jump sometimes if you want. But it's all about um, the timing, and it's very intense. When you're like low on health and you're fighting these guys, it's very intense. I find this game pretty difficult. Uh, it might just be that I'm really bad at it. Probably is. I'm sure people would tell you. Be like, oh, you suck. But uh, yeah, I I enjoy it. I enjoy it a lot. I I've been trying to. I've been playing it a lot recently, trying to get better at it. But I haven't really gotten really much further than I did in my live stream. Uh, what else? There's also some special effects to items in this. Oh, right, here we go. These guys. Because these guys have got like a long reach. I find these guys tend to hit me more. I'm just gonna sit here and stab. Uh. Oh god. Oh, I walked into it. Damn it. That was my own goof. So now I've lost my uh, my good damage sword and the nice shield I had. Right, so what you gotta remember is, if you spam attack, you're gonna get punished, basically. You wanna remember to... Oh boy. You've gotta sort of time it, so... You don't wanna be attacking whilst they are, basically. And you want to keep bashing them away, because if they get you in a corner, then... Oh, shit. No! Come on, now! Oh, I did it! Oh, my gosh. If you want, if they get you in a corner, you're usually pretty uh, screwed. It's the basics. Um, I don't know how long it is. There's 70-plus rooms. I'm not sure how many I've actually been through. Um, I guess... As far as replay value goes, I'm not really sure. And I, mean, I feel like once you've been this once, I can't really see. Well, I mean, maybe you can. I mean, I definitely. I think this would definitely um, be cool if it had uh, randomly generated rooms, even though that's like it's like the thing every, these days. Everybody does. But, um, I mean, that adds replayability to a game. So, I mean, once you've been at once, you kind of know what's coming. I mean, maybe, um, maybe, maybe sort of perfecting a run. I can definitely see speedrunning of this game being something that people would do. Oh, boy, here we go. Careful now. Oh, oh gosh. Like, perfecting the way you, um, perfecting the way you run through everything is actually pretty fun. Oh, gosh. Oh. oh man, I really want my I really want a better sword. The basic sword does so little damage. Gosh damn. 
<laughs> There's also special effects you can get on the weapons, uh, such as ice, fire, and lightning. They do different things. Uh, this, there's a, um, if you have fire, there's a chance to do extra damage or set them on fire and they'll do some ticks of damage for a while. Nice. If you have ice, it can freeze them for a bit. And if you have lightning, um, it'll knock them back. And uh, if you throw spears of lightning, it'll like freeze them and stuff. Which is, I mean, it'll uh, pierce them and stuff, which is pretty cool. Already got an Avenger shield, but I'll pick it up anyway. It doesn't make a difference if you pick up a shield and you already got one. Ooh, 6-7. It's a bit more damage. Oh, okay, we gotta be we gotta be very careful. Like you don't want to be making oh, eight eleven. That's good. You don't be making silly mistakes. Oh, crap. Oh, no 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 no. Oh no. Ah. You can see the effect of the shield coming in there where it dizzies them. Okay, I think there's uh, some chests in here. Oh, that was not where I meant to go. I thought this was a. Uh, no, 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 potato pad, don't do this. Oh! I pressed a button as I was standing up. Damn it. Oh no, why did I go back in? Oh no. <laughs> yeah, the, sh the spear guys are my, uh, my kryptonite in this. I don't know why, but they just, for some reason, these guys really mess me up. Hmm. I'm usually in such a hurry to get them killed that I'll attack when they are. Right, so we can't go up there yet, because what you need is a candle. There's a sign on the wall that tells you that. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. Oh, no. I know in that room in the middle there is a it's a is a some health. Oh gosh. Come on now. Oh. oh. It's the length of the spears that really get me on these guys. <sighs> Luckily the enemies don't respawn when you die, which is nice. Okay. Oh, I didn't hit him away. Damn. That's uh, that's how it goes, though. You gotta be you gotta be really spot on. And this is my last life now. So once I die here, that's pretty much it. Oh gosh. So yeah, this is kind of one of those games that um, it's very difficult. Uh, well, for me at least, to like sort of get to simple to simple to learn. Like the combat's very simple in it, but um, mastering, you know, when when to duck. Simple to learn, difficult to master, I guess. But uh, yeah, I definitely foresee speedruns coming out of this. Oh god, get me out of there. Right, I'm just gonna throw some spears in the hopes that... Oh no. Oh my gosh, I did it. Uh... <laughs> oh, I hate the spear guys so much. These, they've caused me nothing but trouble when I play this game. 6-9, it's better than what I've got. Some health would be lovely now. Nope, okay. Got two hits left. That's not what I wanted, but we'll deal with it. A bit more platform in here. I can definitely feel the uh, the inspiration from uh, Zelda, and um, definitely castle. It's got a very Castlevania-like feel to it. But yeah, Zelda Two in particular. Zelda Two in particular is um, it's got it's got a very heavy Zelda Two inspired feeling here. And Dark Souls. Dark Souls mainly for the sort of the the fact that the combat is very like timing based. You know, it's all about watching your enemy, seeing what they do, and then reacting to it. You know, more than just about going in. Oh gosh, those axes and they those axes and they come back are the worst. Right, what's in here? Oh boy. Okay, these guys have got an attack that's like a chop down one that um, you can't, you have to be standing up to block. So they sort of add a new, 
strategy to it. So there's... You can't just keep blocking all the time. You can't just keep ducking and attacking. Because if you do, then their overhead will get you. Ah, nice. Oh, boy. Ooh. Okay, we're going to wait here. Because if you seize us, he'll throw an axe. Let's jump up. You can actually throw enemies um, into spike pits, as I discovered. And that'll kill them straight away. Of course you forgo any like items or hearts they might draw. Uh, but I mean, maybe that's maybe that's worth it for the for the quick kill. Six eight, so that's no good. We don't want that. Eh, yeah, but ducking, uh, staying ducked and attacking is a pretty legit strat. I I found in this game. Since most enemies have like an up and down attack, it's when you which when you meet the sword guys that you need to start uh, reacting more. Five to eight, so that's no good either. The best sword I found so far was like an eight to thirteen, I think. So that was really good. We haven't had any um, effects on our weapons yet, which is a shame. Oh god, this room. Okay, so what we need to do here is we need to shield bash this guy into the spikes and make sure that this. Shield. Oh, damn it, I pressed the wrong button. Well, I pressed B instead of Y. That is, uh, that's what killed me there. If I press Y, I could hit him, and you can also shield bash uh, projectile, so I could shield bash the projectile as it came whilst I hit the axe guy. But I pressed the wrong button, and if you get hit there, you're dead, basically. So. And that's it, and then you, uh, you go back to the beginning, and you have to do it all over again. Shadow Crypt. That's about it. That's about all there is to Shadow Crypt, really. You've got uh, you got your weapons, you got your elements, you got your Zelda 2 inspired combat. All the sprites were uh, handcrafted, apparently. And um, yeah, it's just a very it's a very um, fun game that really keeps you sort of focused, and you got and it keeps you like very, you know, on your toes and stuff like that. And uh, you just want to be. You ought to be paying attention to what's happening. You can't really sort of zone out. And I really enjoy that. I, I really enjoy that. I'm, I mean, I'm playing this a bit, and I'm hoping eventually to get good enough to beat it. And that drives me on. Like, I know a lot of people, they get annoyed by games like this, but uh, games like this with a high difficulty level, they drive me to beat them because I want to, you know, know that I've done them. And, uh, yeah, that's the draw for me personally. Maybe you don't enjoy that, but I don't know. Either way, this game is coming to Steam uh, soon. According to the website, there's no exact date. If you buy it from the Humble Store and maybe Itch.io, Itch I'm not sure. Uh, I know from Humble Store you can get the Steam code for when it comes out. So uh, you'll be able to get it on that. But uh, yeah, definitely worth a check out. Uh, it is available for uh, $10. Um, I don't know what that is in my money. It's just on the website. It's down as $10 on both Itch.io it's uh, itch.io and um, on the Humble store. So it's pretty cheap and uh, it's a fun little game. So I definitely suggest checking it out. I be Milby. Leave a like and a comment. Let me know what you thought about these. I do these very rarely because I'm not very good at reviewing games, as you can tell. Or more reviewing, more uh, pre previewing. I don't know what the word is. Well, you look. I just. I don't. You know. I want to showcase. Showcasing. There you go. And, um, yeah, don't forget, uh, follow me on Twitter, at MillBeFull, and on Facebook, and on Twitch. All the links below on the description. The link to this website will also be uh, below where you can buy the game. Give a look at, for, give a look at, also don't forget, follow the guy on um, Twitter, at OneBitPunch. Let him know you love the game if you do. I've been Milby, this has been Shadow Crypt, and I will see you next time. Have fun, and stay safe. Bye-bye.